The thought for today is taken from Luke chapter 1 verse 34 to 38. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, who was said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Mary had just heard from the angel. He was telling her what was going to happen. This amazing young woman looked up and asked, How will this be? Since I am a virgin. Personally, if I'd have heard something like that, I'd have responded in a very different way. But not Mary. Even though it sounded impossible on earthly level, acknowledging that Mary was a virgin, it seems unbelievable to us that she would become pregnant and have a baby. Even Luke, who was a doctor, wondered. Tradition holds that Luke had spoken to Mary at length about these events. The angel spoke again and told Mary the details of how this would happen. The Holy Spirit would come upon Mary. Before Pentecost, we understand that the Holy Spirit only came upon a few at specific times. So this shows again how very special this event and Mary were. The angel also shared with Mary that her relative Elizabeth was going to have a child, even though she was old and had been barren. For nothing is impossible with God. We read also in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ever hope or imagine, so we can believe that he cre created a child in a virgin's womb. He is an amazing God. Mary's answer to the angel without hesitation was, I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. Mary is such an example to us all. I think I'd have had a few questions to ask, such as, why me? What will people think? And this must be a joke. But no, this young woman listened and obeyed. Such trust, faith and commitment to God. Mary affirms the basic fundamental truth that underpins our discipleship. The world has been changed because of her willingness to obey. This is not just a story from 2000 years ago. This is for each of us today in the here and now. I was reminded of these very, very familiar verses from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So for us, what will be our response to him, our loving Heavenly Father, Will I obey and make way for this king? Or will I take the easy way that avoids difficulty and pain? To her everlasting credit, 
Mary's response of faith is what our response must be. I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. Let us pray. Lord, do you ask of me a hard thing? Help me to count it an honour to be your servant and an honour to be asked to serve you in a particular way. Help me to serve with joy and not with a grudging or complaining attitude. Help me to be a servant of whom you can be proud. In Jesus' name, Amen.